The operator of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant is carefully monitoring the number two reactor one day after a thermometer topped 80 degrees Celsius. 80 degrees is a benchmark for a state of cold shutdown. The reading of a thermometer near the bottom of the pressure vessel was hovering between 80 and 90 degrees. This is even after plant workers increased the amount of water injected into the reactor. As of 10 a.m. on Monday, the reading rose to 91.2 degrees. Officials of Tokyo Electric Power Company say the thermometer could be malfunctioning. They say two others show temperatures of around 33 degrees. They say three other thermometers lower down in the reactor show temperatures falling. The spokespersons say TEPCO will continue to carefully monitor the reactor to determine what's causing the high readings. Tokyo Electric Power Company says a faulty thermometer is likely to blame for the rising temperature at the disabled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. One of the thermometers inside the number two reactor started to show high readings late last month. The temperature exceeded 80 degrees Celsius, the critical level, on Sunday. It rose to 94.9 degrees at noon on Monday. The utility says it thinks the thermometer is broken. Two other instruments in the reactor showed that the temperature dropped to about 33 degrees. A cable inside the thermometer is probably cut, resulting in a false reading. But since the actual temperature is below 80 degrees, we think the conditions are okay. TEPCO has received billions in public funds since the March 11th disaster. Now the government is demanding more say in how TEPCO runs its business. Industry Minister Yukio Edano has issued a warning to TEPCO saying the owner of the crippled Fukushima nuclear plant will not receive public money unless the government gets adequate voting rights in return. Edano told TEPCO President Toshio Nishizawa on Monday that the government will not otherwise accept the business revival plan the utility will be drawing up by the end of March. TEPCO needs a large amount of public funds for compensation for nuclear disaster victims and for thermal power generation. As long as I am in charge, we will not accept any request for a capital injection unless we get sufficient voting rights that reflect our amount of investment. Japanese researchers say they have identified genes that cause a type of lung cancer. Researchers at Jichi Medical University and the Japanese Foundation for Cancer Research focused on healthy genes that cause lung adenocarcinoma by mutating with other genes. They say they detected six such genes in cancer cells from 1,500 patients and confirmed they trigger cancer in mice. The researchers also say drugs for thyroid cancer, which develops through similar mutations, restricted the functions of the six genes and prevented them from becoming cancerous. The identification will change the diagnosis, classification and treatment of cancer. Lung cancer kills more than 60,000 people a year in Japan, the highest among cancers. Around 1% of them are estimated to have at least one of the six genes.
it starts to get when you just stop breathing. <laughs> 